What's up, y'all? J.R. Rimmon back again, coming to you from uh, Playmore Lanes here in Coldwater, Ohio, where today we've got the new uh, Summit Ascent by Storm. It's pretty blue. It's got a lot of blue, a lot of dark gray, kind of, I don't know. It's a good looking ball. Thrown it a few times. I love the way it revs up. So I put a, what did I put on this thing here? We've got, ugh. oh, that's all right. That's the one I did the same thing as the, the Liberty. So the pin is in the middle finger. I did the uh, 45 by five by 65, which puts the pin in the middle finger. Um, but we're gonna take it out here. I got a typical 42 foot lead condition uh, and we're gonna go across the lane, maybe compare it to something else out here, just so you can see the difference between that ball and some other bowling balls. And you can make a decision whether this ball is good for you or not. Maybe we actually we will compare it to the Liberty since they are laid out the same. So uh, we'll take it out here on lanes one and two where we have 42 foot lead condition and we'll see what she's got here in a minute. So stay tuned. All right, had a little mess up with my other camera, so I recorded this video once, now I'm gonna do it again. But we've got the Ascent, the Summit Ascent. And we're gonna start a little straighter, like you saw with the Max Bias. There is some hang to the right because we're bowling on a house shot leg over the PBA pattern. So there's still a little oil left over over there. But it didn't really matter. Take two of them? Okay, how about three? Can I sell you three? <laughs> so with with this uh, with this pattern having the PBA pattern laid underneath it and then the house shot over it, it, sometimes it takes a couple times to run the lanes before it gets all the oil off. And you saw with the max bias, it struggled a little bit. This one, uh, I don't think it struggles as much on it. So we're moving five left here. Oh, not quite. This one definitely doesn't struggle as much. I, I really like this ball. This ball is, I wish, uh, I wish that first review that I did, I didn't run, I run out of space on my camera and now I don't have a way to delete it without having my cords and stuff. So whoops, bad preparation on my part. But anyway, it looked really, really good. And as you can see, still looks really, really good. So I'm gonna throw, let me throw that shot again. So I just wipe the ball off. Let's see if that gets the corner out. Okay, I get the oil off of it now. It carries the corner out of there nicely now. So that's good news. That's what we like to see. So in, those, in this case, this is one of those instances where you probably have seen my video where I'm like, ah, there's times when I wipe the ball off and there's times when I don't. When I want the ball to be cleaner and smoother, I don't wipe the ball off. When I want it to pick up you know, earlier and, and stronger, I wipe it off. This is one of those times where I wipe the ball off. And a lot of the times I, I'm betting you through the next week at these two regionals, I'm gonna be wiping the ball off every time because I'm gonna be using urethane a lot and I want the ball to start as quick as possible. So we're moving five more left here. That's not gonna hook. Yeah, I, did, I knew it. I did, actually, I thought it was gonna miss the head pin because there's so much hang over there, but that actually looked pretty good. Surprisingly, that looked okay. Not too bad. I thought it was going to two pin at best. I'll take a switch seven out of that on a bad shot, missing right. All right, let's go five more left now. That's good. See, that's the type of motion I like to see. You can see it, see it start to pick up and then it makes it slow motion and it just continues. It almost looks like it speeds up down lane even though it doesn't, it's not really speeding up but it's just so continuous and drives so hard. It looks like it does. I've actually been bowling quite a bit the last few days. Maybe my rev rate's just higher now. 
getting stronger. <laughs> kidding, just kidding. All right, here we go. Five more left. Actually, no, I think I'm in the same spot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same spot. <laughs> A little kid running around, that's funny. A little girl down there having fun bowling. Yeah, we're in Coldwater, Ohio at Playmore Lanes where we got the biggest regional of the year comes here. And I always bring my camper down here and park across the street and got electric and water hookup over there. So we came down early this year and did a clinic on Saturday, which we had 20 people there, 21 people there, which was pretty cool. It was fun. A lot of high school kids help them with the physical game and try to get better. Redrilled a couple of fits for some kids and it was, it was a good time. So next time we run one of these, make sure to sign up for that. If you got fit issues, physical game issues, we'll get you squared up. All right, here's five more left. <laughs> I don't know why I knew that one was just gonna go crazy, but for some reason that angle, as I was watching it go down the lane, I'm like, this one's storing. This one's storing, storing, storing. It's gonna go nuts. <laughs> All right. See, I like this ball. I like this ball a lot. And I like it because it's not so, so strong of a cover to where it reads the front immediately. You know, a lot of people say, and they think it's gonna be like an IQ Tour. And honestly, right now, it kind of looks like one, to be fair. All right, up against the ball return. Yeah, so that, might, I mean, uh, it needs a little bit more oil in the front of the lane or in the front of the head pin to be able to hold there, but, and it's gonna cause me to throw it too far to the right, but man, it looks really good. This shape is really nice. And I am wiping it off each shot just to make sure you get the same thing. And I was, so let's, uh, so let me throw the max bias from there so you guys can kind of see what I was talking about. I'll throw it in that spot where the ascent looked really good, where I was standing on 35. And see, I can't get that ball, this max by, and it's, I'm not trying to make this ball look bad. It's just so much earlier and smoother that it doesn't want to pick up the right part of the lane when I go left. So this is going to be one of them balls where, man, I just have to, I have to uh, play straighter. So again, if I take this max bias and go back right, roll it from there, it's got a better chance. You can see how much smoother, not as strong, even though it's a stronger cover technically, I think it's supposed to be a stronger cover than this Ascent. She's not quite picking up the right way in this building. It might look good over in Minster though. So all right, let's take this Ascent one more time. Let's get in front of the ball return. Throw one right, see what she does. So I would say uh, definitely a ball that you're going to want to get. So make sure to hit that link in the description. Uh, this thing is going to be pretty good from all parts of the lane. Now we thought that this ball was going to be much better straighter, uh, which I think it will be. I think it's honestly it's going to be a lot better straighter than it will be uh, than it will be playing further left. But honestly, I think it's going to be pretty good from all parts of the lane. So make sure to hit the link in the description. That's all I got for you. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Take care.